everyone, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you don't know me, I'm Danielle LaRocca and I do body paint, special effects, makeup, all kinds of stuff here on my channel. So today I am going to be doing a product empty video. It's been a couple of months since I've done a product empties, so I figured why not go ahead and do it. Throughout this video, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. And don't forget to check out my other social media. It'll pop up right down here for you. And I'll also list it in my description box below. So let's hop into the video. Okay guys, so we have some random stuff that I emptied through. I have a little bit of makeup, some skincare, I have some shower things, I have like a couple special effects things. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it. So the first thing I went through, I couldn't believe it myself, but I went through a whole bottle, like the big boy size, <laughs> of Dawn soap. Why do you ask? Well, uh, I use this to wash my brushes and my special effects, like paint brushes. Yeah, I, I really love Dawn soap. I have a little bit down here in the bottom that I can probably get out, but I really love Dawn soap because it's super gentle. I mean, they use it on little duckies when they rescue them. So I figured I can use it on my brushes. And let me tell you, it really has changed my game of washing brushes. I also use, and I went through it, but I didn't save the box. It's the Dove Beauty Bar. It's just a, a bar of soap. And I have been using that. But before that, I would use this Dawn soap and it lasted me so long. I have been doing face paint now for about a year, maybe a little over a year, I think. And um, that has lasted me a whole year. So that's the first thing that I ran out of. <sighs> the second thing that I ran out of, and I'm so sad because I haven't been around to buy a second one. <laughs> but you're gonna, you're gonna think I'm crazy. So at Target, the Up and Up brand, I bought this. This is the foot cream from Target and it is amazing. So I have really dry cracked feet, especially during quarantine because I just walk around my house barefoot and I was getting pedicures a lot before then, but obviously COVID hit and I wasn't able to get out and get a pedicure. And I do my feet myself I do my feet myself, that sounds funny. But when I get out of the shower, I do like a foot care routine and this was part of my foot care routine. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. So it says to compare it to Gold Bond Therapeutic Foot, foot Cream. I never really liked Gold Bond to be honest with you, um, but this is the Triple Action Foot Cream for dry, rough, and cracked heels. I would put this on after my shower. Like the next day, my feet were pretty much back to normal, but my feet needed a lot of help. I should maybe do a foot video. Would you guys like to see a foot video? Let me know. The next product I went through, which is for my special effects people, is I went through my Mayron liquid latex. This is just the white bottle, but it dries clear. I love liquid latex. This is a small bottle. I actually have a huge bottle in my cabinet right now of the clear one. And then I have a zombie one and I have a monster one and I have a black liquid latex, but this is the first bottle of liquid latex that I ran out of. There is still some in here, but I don't know if you can see in there, but when I use this one, just the, the quality is so bad now because it's like pretty old and it's just it's really clumpy and it just doesn't work the way that it should. I have a separate video on liquid latex and how to use it so I will link that up here for you guys. Moving on to a shower product. So I can't remember where I got this. I want to say I got it at Ulta online but so this is a body wash. This is the cucumber and white tea from Vita Bath, Vita Bath, Vita Bath, from Vita, I say Vita Bath, and it smells 
phenomenal. It lathers so nice and I just, it stays on your body for a really long time, which I'm a sucker for fragrance. And so when I take a shower, I want my smell to like stay on me from what I use to wash myself, you know? So that is, I highly recommend this. I think I got it at Ulta, but I'm gonna leave it in the description box. All these products will be listed in the description box for you, so have no fear. So moving on to makeup now, I emptied this. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. This is the Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. <sighs> would I buy this again? No, I would not buy this again because I don't know if I got a faulty one when I got this, but it like separated and was very oily and it turned orange. And I mean, it still worked on my skin, but the problem that I had with it besides it kind of separating was that for me, I like more matte skin. And this is, in my opinion, it makes my skin more dewy. And I'm just not a dewy kind of girl. I mean, there might be some days where I don't want to wear that much makeup and I'll do a more dewy look, but I, I this just doesn't do it for me. So I, I cannot recommend this. I'm so sorry. I love ColourPop, but I just, I can't recommend this. The next makeup product that I emptied is this. This is... Morphe foundation. This is the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation, and I was in the shade F2.60 in matte. I heard a lot of mixed reviews when this came out, but I'm sorry, I love this stuff. I went through this so quick. I used this for a lot of my earlier character looks. It really holds and sticks to my face very well. It lasted me all day. It was pretty much my exact shade. I really love this and I definitely plan on buying this again. The last two items that I have in my makeup empties, we have skincare next, but this is the last of my makeup, is I have two setting powders. The first one, this is the Cover FX. This is the Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. And then I have the Morphe. This is the Bake and Set in Translucent. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. However, they both performed beautifully. They were not clumpy. It truly was transparent. It just made your skin look so nice and even. It matched with my foundation, any of my foundations that I used. These would both do the trick. Um, I, I guess I would say the reason why I like the Cover FX better is maybe I could just tell it was a little bit better quality than the Morphe. Even though the Morphe was cheaper, I mean, it still performed really well. I just, I really liked the consistency, I guess, of the cover effects, but I can't complain. I loved both of them and I would highly recommend these and I would also buy them again. Moving on to our last category, which is skincare. My first product is this is a moisturizer. This is from Peter Thomas Roth, and this is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. And it says it's hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types. It was a little sample I believe I got from Sephora. Yeah, I believe it was Sephora, but this is so nice, I can't even tell you. It's like a, you know, that water gel formula, but it really seeps into your skin. It doesn't leave any oily residue. It doesn't feel sticky. It's really beautiful. I also have the Tatcha water cream. I got a sample because it's too expensive, um, but I would definitely compare it to the Tatcha water cream. And I do plan on buying a big size of this. And I also plan on buying a big size of the Tatcha water cream, even though I haven't emptied that out yet. I just had to throw that in there. Um, this is amazing and I love it. Absolutely love it. I have dry skin. I, I like dry to normal skin. And this, oh my God, like 
I feel like this was sent from heaven. Like that's how good it is. It's so, so good. All right, so I went through a face wash and if you've watched my empties in my channel before with my skincare videos, you'll know that I'm a huge Kiehl's fan. <laughs> um, so I emptied this Kiehl's cleanser. This is the Ultra Facial Cleanser for all skin types. Again, this was a really great product. I don't remember it having a scent so that's always good for some people because I know a lot of people don't like fragrance in their skincare. So I don't believe this had a scent to it. The only complaint I would have about this is when I wash my face with a cleanser, I like to have some sort of like sandy, like almost like a scrub, but not just because it'll make my skin like left feeling clean. This was a little bit thick for me and it didn't have anything in it. It was literally just like a creamy cleanser, but I think it was too creamy for me is why I didn't like it. But it did get all the makeup off of my face, which is amazing in itself because I always have raccoon eyes no matter what I do. And this always seemed to do the trick. So I recommend this. Um, this is, I think this was the second time I've been through this and I'm probably not gonna buy it at least for another good while just because I wanna try some other cleansers out there. But Kiehl's is definitely my tried and true brand for skincare. And the very last item we have for skincare is the What A Melon Toner from Bliss. I remember this thing lasted me forever and I was starting not to really like it. And so I was just trying to go through it super fast. The reason why I don't like it is because I have other cleansers that I, or not cleansers, I have other toners that I like better. This one smelled amazing. I really like how the pump is because you can just put your cotton pad up here and it like soaks it through. I really liked that. Like I said, I love the scent. It was very refreshing. However, when I use a toner, I like toners that have more of like an astringent sting to it, if that makes sense. And that I just didn't get with this. This was very like soothing, I guess, and not in like a tingly kind of way. It was just kind of like, bleh, like <laughs> just kind of blah. But um, nonetheless, it is good if you're looking for just like a fun toner that does the trick. I mean, you can't go wrong with Bliss products. I really like Bliss. I just like other toners better. So that is it for my product empties video. Do you have any of these? Have you emptied out any of these? Let me know. Also, let me know what some of your favorite skincare items are down below, because I would really love to try some new stuff. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like what you see, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my other videos on the sides, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.